All right. We're here today. I don't know why I canceled, but we are at 15,240. This is for the weight for the truck. We are on the scale right now. I had this other video going, but I guess it, uh, I must have tapped it or something. Anyways, uh, we scaled. That's much the truck weighs empty. 15,240. Uh, like I said, um, I have no probably have about like six gallons or 10 gallons of fuel in the truck right now and probably about three gallons of def I'm actually probably short one or two gallons of def so we are gonna fill up um, gas in the truck and I'll tell you how many gallons I put there and then I just installed the uh, 90 gallon auxiliary fuel tank so we will uh, fill that up and then rescale and see how much uh, how much we weigh then. Good old fuel over here is 345. I'm in New York right now, so let's see. Uh, insert our card. Insert our TA card. This bad boy opens. We're gonna do tractor. We're not gonna do def. We're gonna skip that. Cash advance, skip that. Additional products, skip that. Enter my uh, code number. Ready to authorize some diesel. Put this here. Always make sure you gotta. I always do it, and this hits it and uh, turns it off. Then you get charged another 65 cents for swiping your card again. This is the reason why I like having an auxiliary tank. So they can pump your gas a little faster. So this is the tank. We are going to, that's it right there. It's got a little gauge on it. I really don't use that, but so, I usually, have a towel or something over here so every time I lay it down it's whatever I do have to put in here usually the other one I have a carpet this one I might put a cardboard box because just by the tools keep sliding and then look just gets the aluminum just scratches up and just becomes dirty and then all your tools become dirty and uh, I don't know I haven't figured out whatever what else to put in there I was thinking of maybe uh, some, uh, what do you call that? Like the weather tech, like a plastic trunk one or something, or cut it to size. So, keep things from sliding too much. It just, just things getting dirty. Dropped you. I do have my hot shot secret. I'm gonna have to add some of that in here.
There you go. So we put an even 23 gallons inside the tank now to I don't hit this thing over here. There we go. Now we can start pumping. So that means 60 gallons. Let's see. I mean, obviously, it's a 90 gallon tank. You can't put 90 gallons in it. I think you could only do 80%. Uh, I don't know. The biggest thing with these, I always forget to. Uh, close it so you always forget to put this top on and then when I'm driving it it just splashes everywhere and leaks everywhere Twenty-three in the tank, so that means there's eighty. Eighty in here. So. We'll leave it at that. One oh four. One oh four point five. Pretty much 
that's full. You gotta make sure that this side's closed, and as you can see, that side it's up in the air. As I was saying in the earlier clip, which guy I shut off, you had this guy who's cleaning his cab over over here. All right, let's scale now and see. How much we got in the back? Oh, nice. Good morning, everyone. They raised the price. It used to be two fifty to rescale. Now it's three dollars to rescale. Went up fifty cents. So there you have it. We are at fifteen nine eighty. So I don't know. You can do the math between the other two. I believe the other one was fifteen two forty. Let's see, 15,240 minus 15,980. So with all that uh, fuel that I got, the 105 gallons, it gave me 740 pounds more. So obviously most of it went to my drive because you can see my drive over there is uh, 6,180. But that's it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to see, I'm going to pick up some trucks today and we're going to weigh those out and see uh, how much we weigh later on today. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you later.